I'm standing behind the weathered facade of the old State Theater, one of the few visible remnants of the 70-plus theaters that once existed in Youngstown. This storied site in the downtown actually hosted two Nickelodeons before the State even opened in 1928. At the time of its opening in 1928, the half million dollar State Theater was the second largest theater in the Mahoning Valley. It originally opened as a live theater and movie venue. Vaudeville brought in big crowds until the Great Depression descended on the nation and changing tastes put motion pictures back at the forefront. By the 1950s, the 3D movie craze brought both teenagers and families into the darkened State Theater Auditorium to watch the likes of Creature from the Black Lagoon, and it came from outer space. In 1957, the State Theater reopened as a luxury theater, capable of showing Todd A.O. 70mm films. At the time, Youngstown was only one of 35 cities in the U.S. capable of showing such widescreen films. Yet the State Theater declined with the rest of the downtown during the late 1960s, and the theater unceremoniously closed in 1970. The days of motion pictures at the State Theater were over, but it soon became the home of the Tomorrow Club, which hosted some of the biggest rock, punk, and new wave acts in the nation. Groups including Ike and Tina Turner, The Ramones, Pat Benatar, and Lou Reed packed the old theater. In late 1978, the Tomorrow Club closed its doors and was eventually replaced by the 2100-seat Youngstown Agora, which became the largest venue in the Agora chain. Youngstown's Agora remained on the circuit until the summer of 1982. The Star Palace, another nightclub and music venue, emerged in the mid-1980s as the last business to operate in the old State Theater building. Salt and Peppa, DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, and Cool Mo D brought the sounds of R&B and early hip-hop to downtown Youngstown. Unfortunately, like the Tomorrow Club and the Agora, the Star Palace also folded after a few years. After languishing for decades, the State Theater finally met with the Wrecking Ball in 2008. After a grassroots effort to save the building failed, the old facade was saved and preserved as one of the last remnants of downtown Youngstown's theater history. Step back in time with me and revisit the golden age of entertainment. From turn of the century Nickelodeons to Keith Albee's Vaudeville Palace, from neighborhood theaters of yesteryear to your favorite drive-ins and twin cinemas, they're all featured in historic theaters of Youngstown and the Mahoning Valley, available from the History Press. <laughs>